This is how we bench test an alternator before sending it out to buyers. Here's our bench test setup. We've got a switch for the charge lamp, a blower to simulate load, a switch for the AC motor that spins the alternator, and a voltmeter to monitor output. The power source is a 12 volt battery, and this AC motor mimics an engine's driving force. For this video, I'll show you how to set it up. We'll test two alternators, one working and one defective, so you can see the difference. So why do we test alternators? To diagnose charging and voltage issues. To confirm performance after repair or long-term storage. To simulate real engine conditions in a controlled setup. We've connected the battery negative to this mount. So by mounting the alternator, we're grounding it. Next, connect the L wire to the charge lamp circuit and the IG wire to switch the ignition power. Connect the battery positive to the alternator's B plus terminal. These two connections are all you need to activate most alternators. The two other wires are just ECU sensors. No need to connect them for this test. First, switch on the charge lamp. This tells us that 12 volts is reaching the ignition input. Then, power on the AC motor. It spins the alternator just like an engine would. The charge lamp should turn off. That means the alternator is charging. You can see the voltage reading here around 14 volts, which is normal. Now let's switch on the blower to simulate load. As you can see, the alternator holds the voltage steady, even under load. This one's good to go. Now, let's test the defective alternator. Same setup, everything wired the same. We power on the AC motor, but this time, the charge lamp doesn't turn off. That means the alternator isn't charging. This unit is faulty. It could be the regulator, diodes, or rotor circuit. If you want to see specific tests like ripple voltage testing, amperage load testing, or how to check for bad diodes, let me know in the comments below.